Let's talk about binary searches with a while loop rather than with uh, done recursively. So uh, this was the recursive call, uh, method again. Let's just review it briefly, and then we can talk about what changes we need to make to do a, uh, an iterative binary search instead. So here, our method header was we provided the array of numbers. Um, and then we said what index was the low, what index was the high, what index was the target. So that way we can limit which ones we're searching for. Now we'll average the uh, low and high to get the mid. So uh, in this situation here, my low is zero, my high is eight. So my mid is gonna be four. Uh, in this case, I'm just searching for the, the number five. So if low is, now if at any time my low becomes bigger than my high, that means that I couldn't find the number and through the various changes of low and high, uh, low would have crossed over and become bigger than high. Um, that's if the number's not found, so I can return negative one at that point. Um, now, if I have a match, it, then I just return the, the value. Um, so now in this case, for, uh, the value at four is a seven, seven isn't a five, so no match. Um, so we'll keep going. Now it says if the value at mid is bigger than the target, we're gonna eliminate uh, the top half. So I'm gonna get rid of like all this stuff over here. So I'm only now searching through this half. So to get rid of all this stuff, um, I'm going to uh, say that my new high is mid minus one, and uh, I'll do it again with the old low, the new high, and the same target. So now when I do this thing again, the mid is be low plus high over two, but my new high is going to be mid minus one of three, so three over two gets me to this five and we found it. Um, if, again, if it's too low, we eliminate the lower half. So if it were too low, we would have gotten rid of the lower half. So let's look at how we would adjust this to be a while loop instead. So um, what we would do is, well, first, um, I keep looping until I either find it or I know it doesn't exist. And the low being uh, greater than the high was when we knew that it didn't exist. So as soon as low is less, as soon as this uh, condition is false, then we know it doesn't exist. So we'll return minus one uh, if this is false. Now, uh, I don't need all these parameters because I'm not calling binary search over and over again, but I still need the variables low and high. I'm gonna figure out what my values are. Low starts off at zero because that is going to be the small sum of the array. And then my high is length minus one, which will be the last index in the array. And uh, mid needs to happen after those two. And mid is low plus high over two. So while low is less than or equal to high, as long as it, uh, you know, we think it still exists, if the number at the mid is the target, then we'll just return it. We're done. But otherwise, if the number at the mid is greater than the target, it's too high. The way we eliminate everything mid or above is we say that high is equal to mid minus one. So it'll be four minus one will be three now. And we have to actually recalculate this mid now. So to recalculate this mid, this actually has to happen after we've done it. Like we could do it in both this else if and this else, or we could just uh, do one line here. We can say mid is equal to low plus high over two. So we've recalculated our new middle after we've checked to see if it's too low or high. And now we can go ahead and uh, go through it again uh, with our low less than or equal to high. So the first time through, um, high became four, mid became two, mid at two is a number five, so we're done. Uh, what if we search for something that doesn't exist? What if we search for a four? 
so again, high we would have eliminated the top half. So high was four, mid was two. Actually, high is three because we eliminate that four. Um, mid is two. Three divided by two gives me uh, actually mid will be one. Excuse me. Um, and then uh, so yeah, three divided by two is giving me one. Um, and uh, it's not here, so now my low is going to become mid plus one. So my low is now two, and my high stays the same. Um, so now when I do low plus high over two to get my new mid, five divided by two gives me two. That's my new mid, I'll check. Well, when I get to the value of two, uh, two and five, uh, the value of five is bigger than four. So I've got a bigger high is mid minus one. So high is going to be mid minus one, which would be one. And now you see it, they've overlapped and the low is bigger than the high. Uh, my new mid is going to be two plus one over two, three over two is going to be one, but it doesn't matter because now low is no longer less than high uh, because we couldn't find it because it didn't exist. So we'll get kicked out of the loop of return minus one. So that is how you do the binary search iteratively. And um, you know they, they've never seen them ask that you to write this in an FRQ before. I highly doubt that they would, uh, but uh, hopefully this uh, helps you out in just the more general computer science, uh, especially in college where they actually might make you write it. Um, uh, if we do a computer science degree. All right, that's, that's binary search.